Hi everybody. Okay, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get multiple instances of Ableton Live running. Um, as we all know, if you try to do this, you end up with error messages that rewire isn't working. And uh, what happens is you go to your second instance of Ableton Live, and your library is no longer available. Um, right now on the screen, you see my first instance of the um, of Ableton Live. Um, as you can see, I have my library. And if we go into the menu and just look at preferences, um, what I currently have as my audio is a vSynth. Um, obviously, ISO only supports one ISO device at a time, um, so there's obviously a problem if you want two. Um, I've also got a second instance of Ableton Live running, which is this one here. And as you can see, I still have access to my library and just to prove it's a separate instance if I go here and press preferences you'll notice that in audio I've got a different device set up now these are completely independent of one another and how was it done well basically what you need to do is um, download a third party piece of software um, this third party piece of software that you download um, not only facilitates um, this it also helps to secure your computer um, from viruses malware and spyware which is what it originally uh, was intended for and I have it installed forever at this stage and what it does is it basically stops me from getting viruses on my system etc but that's what I'm not what I'm going to demonstrate today okay so what is the software sandbox this is what it looks like when you bring it up um, I've created a couple of sandboxes you'll find that here I have a sandbox called Ableton Live and down here I have another one called Ableton Live XT um, this is how I have actually managed to run two of them they run inside a virtual memory space or if another way, another way of looking at it is they run inside a their own virtual machine if you like neither of these know that the other is running you don't install Ableton Live twice you install it on your main system you just install it regularly and once it's installed then you can install this and set up your sandboxes and once you've done that you can then run them within the sandboxes imagine this is blank okay imagine there's nothing here so what you would simply do is you go sandbox create a new sandbox I'll call it live test one and there is there and then we create another sandbox live test two okay and here is live test one live test two there's nothing running okay um, I'll close these down so I can show you exactly what happens and how you how you can do it and close this one down too okay so what you would do is you would go to your start menu and I've created shortcuts here you can figure you can find out how to do that when you once you download the application um, and all you do is find the program Ableton Live here it is here right click on it and choose run sandboxed your first version runs inside live test one and we let that load And your next version right click run sandbox run inside live test 2 and they are about loading right now but they're loading inside their own memory space you will get these pop-ups um, just click this and choose close for now you can look into it more in depth as to uh, how to configure it um, this is version one let's say and we'll get version two up in a minute 
and as you can see it's running live test 2 is still loading so we'll just wait for that to load now you've got your two instances of live and they're both running and they're both completely isolated from one another there's one and here's the other one and as you can see we haven't got any error messages and we have access to all our libraries and I can configure either of these um, as I like um, save whatever I like I can set this up with a, with a, with a template that um, that suits me I can set this up with a template that suits me and each of these will load their, with their own default templates and they won't conflict with not one another um, simply go to sorry, sandboxie.ie uh, .com download it um, the default version is free you only get one sandbox um, what you can do in that instance is probably is just run live as normal the first time but then the second time run it inside a sandbox so you would be running one outside of a sandbox and one inside of a sandbox and they will be completely isolated from one another I recommend that you go ahead and purchase the um, the, the application because it's worth what what he's actually charging for um, what allows you to do with your computer is unbelievable as far as uh, security goes uh, you can't get viruses um, your uh, it's everything runs inside its own box and if you want to test software you can just run it inside a um individual sandbox and delete it and it won't affect your system it keeps your cl your system clean i've installed tons of software inside sandbox and even though i've installed tons of software on my system my system here doesn't know that anything is in it as far as it's concerned it's still a clean installation of windows it just keeps the whole system running smooth so i recommend you do that um check it out um don't forget to subscribe and like the video um so i can continue to make more videos and um keep you up to date with any other tricks and tips thanks for watching bye